According to AI experts, brain implants could make learning obsolete in less than 20 years. Instead of reading textbooks or going to school to gather information, we'll have devices in our brains that download information on demand. That may sound like a lot to achieve by 2040, but based on where current technology is, AI expert Nicholas Karanos says the timeline isn't out of reach. A brain implant, also known as a neural implant, is a device often placed on the surface of the brain. It's capable of communicating with your neurons, recording their activity, and even telling them how to behave. One of the most common applications is deep brain stimulation, where electrodes are implanted into the brain to stimulate different areas and reduce the symptoms of brain-based disorders, such as Parkinson's disease or epilepsy. More than 150,000 people globally have received such an implant, but the implants can control neurons in other parts of the body as well. Doctors have used neural implants to stimulate the spinal cord, allowing individuals with paralysis to walk again. Amputees equipped with the implants were able to control robotic prostheses using nothing but their thoughts. Then there's a host of examples that are straight out of sci-fi novels. For example, a team from the University of Pennsylvania's Computational Memory Lab successfully enhanced people's memory capabilities by stimulating brain regions using electrodes. Perhaps one of the most well-known brain implant companies is Elon Musk's Neuralink. The company's ultimate goal is to merge computers with the human brain so that human intelligence can keep pace with advancements in artificial intelligence. Neuralink uses threads in the brain connected to a 4mm chip called the N1. The company recently released a video that appeared to show a 9-year-old monkey equipped with the N1 chip operating a game of Pong using his mind. The N1 chip is just the first step for Neuralink. The team is also developing Neural Lace, a brain-computer interface technology. The ultra-thin mesh will be inserted via a tiny needle and encompass the brain. The goal of Neural Lace is to enable humans to upload and download information directly from a computer, much like Neo in The Matrix. Neuralink isn't the only company making headlines in the field. Led by CEO Ramses al -Qaid, the Neurable team revealed the world's first brain-controlled VR game in 2017. Their device is a wearable that uses seven scalp electrodes to record electrical signals in the brain. Mindex is another brain implant company that aims to create a look-and-think interface for next-generation spatial computing applications. Users will be able to interact with computers using smart glasses that link with the human brain. The glasses will let wearers access information with a single thought. No more rummaging for your phone to Google a burning question. This is all just the beginning. There's a long way to go with this technology before we all have the option to get chipped and many hurdles to overcome. After all, major elective brain or spinal surgery is incredibly risky. Still, engineers are working on tiny implants, such as the 0.25 square millimeter neurograins, as well as implants that can travel to the brain via the bloodstream, eliminating the need for open brain surgery. Considering all of this, AI expert Nicholas Karanos may be correct. In the next few decades, would you want to make your brain part machine?